Great. Any comments you want to add on that, Chuck? Well, you guys are, are missing a two key conversations that were really important. Right? The first one was when I read, I was marketing it, in this, in the designing the chip and getting ready, and I read on the, one of these sheets that my t marketing guys read, Grass Valley, California. I said, what the hell is in Grass Valley, California? <laughs> <laughs> so I call up and I get to meet Joe LaCour by the phone. Joe in the back Joe's Grass. back there. Yeah. And Joe said, why don't we, we knew we were going to go to Westcon and reduce it, right? So we did, we went to Westcon, and, and if you don't mind half a story about the introduction of 6502. We had advertised in the local um, technical magazine that we would sell a $25 computer on the floor at this computer, the semiconductor. And we got to the show and they said, you can't sell anything on the store. Right? So I took a suite in uh, St. Francis, called the McCarthy Suite, and Steve Jobs came over and Joe LeCour came over and a whole bunch of other people came over to the suite and bought for my wife a 6502, two manuals. <laughs> and they, we sold them out of a big jar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but the only working ones are at the top of the jar. <laughs> <laughs> so many I mean you know it was nice thing but people would get on the bus and ask is this the room to the MacArthur room because they really wanted to believe this microprocessor we're selling two over two hundred and fifty dollars and we had said we can do this product well there was enough to convince Joe that maybe we could make it cheaper so we went on to Grass Valley after what's coming and I fell in love with what Atari was going to be doing, right? And I knew Atari I before, but I fell in love with what they're going to be doing. The so, stuff the DCS part. Yes. And I told Joe, you know, I helped introduce him actually to Center Tech, and I said, you tell me what you need, we'll get it for you. And Joe sat down and came up with the idea of the microprocessor, the combo chip, and the Center Tech product. And he called me up and said, what is the price you can sell it to me at? And my parent and I said, and we said, we think that they can afford $12. So we put $12 price tag on these two chips. And it was enough that Joe was able to convince Alan and those guys, let's go do this. And they created an entire industry yeah. that day. Okay? Wow. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Center Tech was wonderful. The guy, Kenny Beer. The guy who did the chip design, Jay Miner, yeah. Jay Miner, Jay Miner. did the design, and we had a product that was going to blow the world away. Right? And the nice thing about it is, all the semiconductor guys thought this is the trick I want to tell you about. Atari got stolen, and he didn't even mention it before. A company in Florida called Allied Leisure had oh, worn God. off Talk about this. the wall, <laughs> right? And and was absolutely outselling him on home because they were better, they were better crooks. Yeah, well, they, they they actually had a factory. <laughs> yeah, they actually had a factory. Yeah. No, no, but I know how many point was they really were crooks. Right? Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. And uh, they were out of that into the business. Okay? Yeah. And uh, so. Our Terry said, we're not going to let this be stolen, right? We want to get the guys hidden up in Grand Spot. So they swore each of us to, a, to this thing. And then they did something very dirty to the rest of the industry. They told Intel, Motorola, at least one other somebody had to come in, we've designed you in. Please put your applications engineers in getting this thing working. The day they told those guys that we were going to get the contract, Motorola sued my company because we were all like Motorola guys. Oh, yeah. a couple million dollars defending himself. But we were right. It was a great product. Well, that... Oh, one last comment. We built an entire industry again around that called the person. 